Attention South Broward valued members, your MLS is upgrading. And one of the tasks that you need to complete before December 11th is to update your Matrix website. In this video, I will show you how to do that. First, do you use the website that Matrix gives you? To be honest, most members don't. How do you know if you do or not? I'll show you in a moment. Second, it's not your client's portal. It does look very similar to your client's portal, but it's not the same thing. Your client's portal is automatically set up for you, so you don't need to worry about that. However, it does use the same header that your client's portal uses, and why some confuse it with your matrix website. But still, it's not the same thing. Third, if you don't know if you're using it, or even set it up, then you probably are not. Fourth, but just in case, let's check and see if you are. The best way to check is to go to your current matrix system. So, when you log into MyRealtorDash.com, click on the matrix tile that takes you to your current matrix system, SBBOR matrix. Remember, you might be prompted to log in again. Once you are at the home page of your current matrix system, hover over My Matrix and click on My Information. Then go to a tab called Agent Web Page. Scroll down and see if you have anything in this section called Home Page Content. If there isn't anything in this section, then great news. There is nothing else for you to do. But if you do have something here, like what you're seeing here, you still may not be actively using it, but that's a sign that you at one time did something with it. So you might want to save what you have here. I say this because you will lose access to this matrix system on December 11th. And just in case, you want to save everything that you have done. What I would recommend next is to go back to the tab where your Realtor dashboard is. Find the matrix tile that takes you to the new matrix system and click on it. When your new matrix system opens up, go to My Matrix and click on My Information. And then find a tab that says Agent Web Page. This is the same section, but in your new matrix system. And you will want to copy everything over from the old to this new one. So just simply go up to the tab where your old matrix system or your current matrix system is. Highlight as much as you can. Click on the Copy button. Then go back to your new matrix system. Make sure you put your cursor blinking in this home page content section. Click on the paste button here. And you may get this option here for you to hold down the control button and, and hit V to paste, depending on your browser. You may also notice that as you copy and paste things from one location to another, the formatting may not be the same, so you may have to reformat it. Here you'll notice that my text color and font type is not exactly the same as it was in the current matrix system. So if I do want it to be the same, I'll just have to play around with it like I did before and correct it. After you copied everything over from the home page content from the current system to the new matrix system, scroll down to the section underneath called Additional Sections. If it's being covered up, you might need to drag this arrow out of the way so you can see all the sections available to you here. And just make sure that you add any and all sections that you have in the other system. So that you know, these sections, photo, portal greeting, video, inventory slideshow and links, and contact information are found up here under the last tab called Portal Profile. Go to your old system and make sure that if you are using a portal greeting, inventory slideshow, or any of the other options here, make sure you open them up and copy over everything that you see under all these sections here. And also make sure they're turned on and not turned off. Then go back to the Agent Web Page tab. And down here at the bottom under Map Area, 
make sure you have the same settings for the map area. I think you're going to want to include the sign up form, so check mark that box. And if there's any message there from your old system, copy that over as well. And then under additional domains, if you have added any there, make sure you add them here as well. So everything matches up just the same. And obviously when you're done, click on the save button. Finally, back at the top, don't forget to copy and paste any information you have in a web page title section and the title section just under the home page content. Now, your web page URL will be different. It cannot be the same as before. However, you can have the same in this section here, but the remaining part will be different. This means that if you're using it somewhere else, or if you have bought a domain name from someone like, say, godaddy.com, you will need to update it with them as well. Otherwise, on December 11th, when your current matrix system is turned off, your website will point to a site that no longer exists, so make this change as well. I hope this video helps, and if you have any questions, please contact your MLS. So, now that you have updated your matrix website, don't forget the other tasks that you will need to complete by December 11th. And please visit rapb.com upgrade to learn more.